Bow, bow. This is Bowlers, Trinidad's newest and finest football show. Coming to you straight out of Trinidad. Hi, I'm here at the Omari's Club in Kelly Village with Ma Mr. Maxwell Griffith. Maxwell, Gregory Maxwell. Gregory Maxwell. Hi, um, we are in Kelly about to try and embark on a, on a great journey. In my opinion, we're going to try and enter a team into the central zone. Um, Mr. Griffith, I'd like you to explain um, what the procedure is, in basic bullet points um, of getting a team into the central zone. Well, first you have to apply to the, um, the central zone executive for membership in the, in the zone. You, are, you must have a home ground. They will... You will write the zone a letter telling them you're interested to join the, the zone. You want to bring a team in the zone and they will then ask if you have a, a registered ground in your area and they will send a team of um, inspectors to inspect the ground to see if it meets their standards. And once it meets their standards, and every day they'll put it to a vote in the executive in the central zone. And once the, everybody agree, you're more or less would be playing in the zone. That's how it... So, so what stage are we at now? Ha, ha, as well, they... We are at an amateur stage right. in the zone. No, no, I mean stage at the process of this application. Okay, well, um, we, right now we had the letter prepared to take down to the zone um, on the 13th of the next week okay. when they will go through and see they accept the team and we will move on from there. Okay, so they haven't inspected the ground as yet? No, no, no. No, they haven't inspected the ground yet. Okay. But um, we did measurements on the ground and thing on Sunday. Right. And it have the space, the length, the width and everything. So we shouldn't see it be no problem for that. Um, and which ground is it? Is it Kelly um, Village Ground. Okay, right here in um, the in Savannah? Village, yes, yes. Fantastic, fantastic. So, um, now, me being the Englishman, I understand the Premiership, which is um, the Premiership, the Championship, League One and League Two. Yes. I understand it's slightly different over here. Yes. It, it, we're entering into the Central Zone. Yes. What stage is that in the, in the league? Well, the Central Zone, you will move up from the Central Zone to the Super League once you win out your zone. They have six zones right. in Trinidad and Tobago. Five in Trinidad, one in Tobago. Right, so if we like join the central zone and we win out all the competition in the central zone, we go to play champion or champion right. together with five other teams from the rest of the zones in um, Trinidad and Tobago. And sometimes they might pick the best three, or sometimes they might pick the best two. Right, so from there, you go to the Super League, right. And if you get a proper sponsor, they can take you to play in, in the Pro League. But you know, in the Pro League, um, you have to have a certain amount of cash like to put in the bank for... Um, That's the big boy league, basically. Yes, yes, yes. You okay. have to have, um, well, like a steady sum in the bank to sustain you through the years, because remember, you have to pay players, and you have to have two different kits of uniform, and traveling allowance and so it's a, a costly kind of process so can i just ask you um I, as you say it is a costly process even in the central zone um our team would need sponsors more than likely yes what stage have we got any sponsors or are we still looking for sponsors well right now we still in the process of looking for a sponsor well you hear that sponsors please if you want to be involved with kelly united how do they get in touch with you? Um, we have. Um, you could always, you could always forward information via Kelly Village TV, and we would pass it on to Mr. Griffith. That's no problem. But if they wanted to get in touch with a representative from Kelly United itself, how could they do that? Yes, well, we have um, a number seven six zero zero six four zero, and um, seven zero four 
1531. That's the two numbers we have that people could um, get in touch with us. To, um, but right now we're presently looking for <coughs> somebody to help with the team to take us to the next level because right now football in Trinidad, it means everybody, like players, coaches, everybody want to get paid for what they do. Right, right. And it's very difficult for a side without a sponsor to function in any zone right. because each player looking for some kind of remuneration right. to, to get by and we would like some but you have to put the work in first players understand that you know you have to put it the money don't just come like that you have to put in the work in yes you have yeah. to yeah. training training yes. yes yes and you see some of the players most of them might be unemployed right. and most of the players is not from Frederick Settlement or from Kelly, you know. They from other parts of Trinidad and Tobago, so they have to shuttle away up here. So we, they will need some kind of assistance in the form of transport and whatever you could literally could give them during the week for them to go by, for them to come back to games, to come back to training. Well, that, that's understandable, to totally. But um, as I understand, in my industry, the f um, film and television industry, I know or oh, I believe there is an incentive that the government offers where um, a potential sponsor can actually get their sponsorship money back. Now, um, so they're getting the benefit of actually sponsoring the advertising from sponsoring the team and they are getting a very large percentage of their money back. Is there any s such sort of like arrangement yeah. in football? It's, it's, the same, it's the same like in other countries. If you... Um sponsor team yeah. you, you you get it in like tax right off at the end of the year and so they do get back you know well you hear that sponsors if you are interested in sponsoring a um a football team or kelly united in particular there are incentives for you check it out check it out with your accountant check it out with your tax people yes definitely are incentives one thing that everyone's interested to know is i suppose who's going to be the, basically the stars of the whole thing, even though you're doing all the hard work, yeah, yeah. the players, who are the players? Has anyone been selected as yet, or how does the selection process take place? Well, um, right now, we're in the process of um, giving out registration forms right. and calling certain people by phone, visiting certain people home, right. and inviting them to join the squad. We're looking for a squad at 30, which will eventually cut down to 20, which we will keep on a regular roster at 20. So, and everybody get together, we call the first session, the coach will observe who could and who could be cut and who could stay. So, that is what we're looking at right now. We have a little time still, so we, in the process right now, we're giving out um, registration forms. So, we could see what we have when everybody come and bring in their forms and we will choose from the 30 or the 35, we will choose the, the best 20. We feel suitable to make the team and to go on with through this 2013 season. Okay, well, keep tuned to KVTV to look at this journey of Kelly United and see how successful we are. You know, um, KVTV will be coming back from time to time and trying to give you, you know, some good coverage of their progress. Thank you very much for watching.